Hello and welcome to the fourth part of video four of our course on mobile data collection using the Kobo toolbox. My name is Wilfred Ngwa. In our last video, we looked at how to add constraints and constraint messages to our forms. We also looked at how to perform calculations within our forms and how to add skip logic patterns. I also showed you how to set a question to a read-only question, not leaving out how to make modifications to the appearance of your questions. All of this we did within the XLS form builder. In this video, we will see how to use the default repeat count choice filter required and media image columns of our XLS form. I will recommend that you watch the series from the beginning in order not to be lost as this video is a continuation of previous lessons. I have the link to the full playlist shared in the comments section. Ensure to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss out on future videos. That said, let's get to work. Sometimes within our forms, we might want a question to be pre-populated with an answer when the user first sees the question. This is quite useful in saving time, especially if the answer is one that is commonly entered. Elsewhere, it can serve to show the user what type of answer choice is expected. Let me go to our questionnaire and use the question on the reporter's email address to demonstrate this. Let's assume that the reporter is always likely to be epiguider. The epiguider email address is info at epiguider.com. We can type in this address in the default column against this question such that the answer will be pre-populated with this address each time the user is filling the form. Note that the user can change this answer if he or she wants to, so long as the question is not set as a read-only question. Repeating questions in your forms is one of the coolest features that come with the Kobo Toolbox application. Imagine you are collecting information on the members living in the household and you would like to collect the name, age, sex, and level of education of each member of the household. You will require that this set of questions repeat based on the number of persons living in the household. This is where the repeat count column comes in handy. Repeat counts can either be infinite, in which case the user can collect the same information about multiple members by selecting the option in the form to add another repeat, or fixed, whereby instead of allowing an infinite number of repeats, the form designer can specify the exact number of repeats by using the repeat count column. Repeats can also be dynamic, whereby the repeat count can be set to an expression that refers to other fields in the form. Let me now show you how to do this by using the group details of vaccination, vaccines, and diluents in our form. We want a situation whereby the questions on name of health facility, name of vaccine, date of vaccination, time of vaccination, dose, batch number, expiry date, and date and time of reconstitution will repeat based on the number of vaccines for which the patient is reporting adverse events for. To do this, we use the begin repeat and end repeat to construct. Let's do this first for the infinite number of repeats. All you need is to insert a row just below the number of vaccines question. Under the type colon, type in begin repeat. Under the name colon, we can type in vaccine underscore repeat. Since we want the repeat to be effected up to the date and time of reconstitution question, we will end our repeat just below this question by inserting another row and typing in end repeat. At this stage, let's upload the form and see how it works.
To set a fixed number of repeats, all we need to do is to go to the repeat underscore count column and type in a number to correspond to the number of times we want this set of questions repeating. I will type in two for demonstration purposes. Let's now see this in Kobo. For a dynamic repeat, we use the syntax dollar and then in curly brackets variable name typed in in the repeat count column. Our variable name here is num vaccines. So my syntax will be dollar and then in curly brackets num vaccines. So depending on the value you type in the number of vaccine questions, our set of questions will repeat that number of times. Thanks so much for watching and see you in our next video. Ciao.